In this video we're going to be looking at how to find the perimeter of a shape. Let's start with this first one. The perimeter of a shape is simply the distance all the way around it. I can find the perimeter of this shape using a piece of string. What I can do is position the string so that it starts at one of the vertices like that and then use a bit of blue tack here to get the string to the next vertex and then use another bit of blue tack over here and get the string to this vertex and then finally join it up to the original vertex like that. Make sure it's nice and taut. So I've got the string arranged around the perimeter of this triangle. What I'm going to do is hold it at that end and take the string off the blue tack and between my two thumbs here that is the length of the perimeter. It's the distance around the shape and I can measure this using a ruler. Before I do that can you predict what I'm going to get when I measure this length of string? Hopefully you've correctly predicted that the perimeter works out to be 28 centimetres. And there's a much quicker way of doing it than using a piece of string. You can simply add up the lengths of each side of the shape. So in this particular case, the perimeter works out to be 7 plus 8 plus 13 centimetres, and that gives us 28 centimetres. So now we know how to find the perimeter of a shape. It's simply the distance all the way around the outside and we can find that by adding up the lengths of the sides. Pause the video and find the perimeter of these two shapes. Here's what you should have found. The perimeter of the first shape is 5 centimeters plus four centimeters plus three centimeters plus seven centimeters. Those are all in centimeters so I can add them up. When I do I get a total of 19 centimeters. So that is the distance all the way around this shape. Moving on to the second shape the perimeter is 8 plus 8 plus 5 plus 5 plus 4 and when I add those up I get a total of 30 centimeters. Again I was allowed to add these together because they were all in the same units. In this case they were all in centimeters. Here are the last three examples. Let's take a look at the first one. Here I've got a pentagon. It is a five-sided shape. Now we also have these marks on each of the sides. These are called hatch marks and they tell us that each side with the same kind of hatch mark has the same length. Now we know that this side is eight centimeters long because it is labeled. We know that all of the sides have the same hatch mark so that means all of the sides are eight centimeters long. That means the perimeter is eight plus eight plus eight plus eight plus eight. Or we can take a shortcut and simply write the perimeter as five times eight centimeters. And that gives us an answer of 40 centimeters. Pause the video and have a go at finding the perimeter of this square and this triangle for yourself. Here are the answers. Check to make sure you've got these correct.